Welcome to Lesson 075 of Online School of Entrepreneurship. I am Dr. Kirian Mfam. In this lecture, we will look at the feasibility study format for micro businesses. The International Labor Office for Small Business recommended the following simplified format of the content of feasibility study. One, executive summary. Executive summary is usually a one-page document that contains the major highlight of the entire report. In this case, it will contain the highlights of the entire feasibility study. It will also contain the outline of the business idea as well as the most important information generated from the feasibility study or analysis. Two, the business idea. Under this section, you will describe the nature of the product you want to sell or the service you want to render. You will also include your potential customers, those that are going to patronize your product or service. Three, you'll indicate business strategy. How do you want to, how do you intend to launch your product or service in the market to get the desired patronage? And four, the needs the business will, will fulfill for the customers. What problem do you will your product or service address as you launch into the market? Three, the marketing plan. Under this section, the entrepreneur or the developer of the feasibility report will show how to make profit while delivering the product or services. That is to say how the business is going to generate revenue and profit based on the product that will be, that will be delivered or the service that will be rendered. Next, the person will explain how the market survey looks like. What is the report of the market survey? What are the, what are the actionable points from the market survey? Next, potential customers. The person will explain the potential customers that will, that are, are, that will be willing to patronize the product or the services that are rendered. Next is the price for the product or services. This will also be indicated at this point. Next is how the product or service will be how the product or service will be delivered to the people, to the customers. What channels of distribution are you going to use? And the next is advertisement program. How are you going to create awareness for the goods or services? The next session is the form of business. Here, you explain the form of business ownership. Is it a sole proprietorship form of business? Is it a joint venture? Is it a partnership? Or is it a limited liability company among others? It is important to state the form of business so that other stakeholders will know the, 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 the ownership of the business. Next is staffing. Under staffing, we have the quantity of employees, both as at the, at the non-managerial and ma managerial level, the, their quality as well, in terms of their experiences, in terms of their backgrounds, in terms of the education, the salary and free benefits that will be paid to the workers. Their job roles will also be explained in this session, as well as the organogram of the organization, where you identify the various positions and the live relationships that interconnect between one, one job function and the other. 
Next is legal responsibilities and insurance. Here you describe the business registration status of the organization. You will also include the task compliance level of the, of the organization in terms of uh, PE, that is pay as you earn, value added tasks, company income tax, etc. You will also explain your knowledge of the labor law as it concerns minimum wages you are, you are going to pay to your employees, the working hours, public holidays, whether they were organized or not, sick us, occupational safety, etc. Seven, you look at the cost. On that cost, you have the direct cost, you have the indirect or incidental cost, and any other any other cost that will be incidental to the business. Eight, financial planning. Here you include the plan for profit. That is how you are going to bring in profit to your business. It also show your plan for cash flow. That is how you'll be injecting funds into the business at every growth level. <coughs> Nine, required startup capital. Here we are looking at the startup capital what you will need to start up the business so that it will grow effectively. We we'll look at capital investments will be for business premises and equipment. That is to say how much are you going to put for equipment and machineries and how much are you going to put for consumer goods, etc. And then you look at the sources of startup capital. How are you going to raise your capital? Is it from own capital? Is it from both funds? That's what we call debt capital and all that. In the course of this lecture, we have outlined and briefly explained the feasibility study format for micro businesses. Thank you and God bless you.